In this project, we will numerically validate the data obtained by the paper named Analysis of Heat Transfer in Pipe with Twisted Tape Inserts. Now in this slide, we have brought to you the figure 2 of the paper, which shows the validation of numerically predicted loss of number by the paper. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. The present model is designed in three dimensional using design modeler software. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. A new window will appear showing you the DOM and extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length, view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. Now in this section, you can see that based on the paper's text, we have selected the standard K omega model in order to solve for our fluid flow equation. After clicking on inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit in the appeared window, you can change the settings for this boundary. And as for the tube bolt, you can see that again, the thermal condition of heat flux is defined. But this time, the amount of heat flux and the tube ball is equal to 5725 watts per meter squared. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than this criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. Now, in order to extract a 2D contour, you just have to right click on Contours button and then select New. After that, a new window will appear. In the Appear window, under the Contours of section, you just have to select your desirable variable and then under the Surfaces section, click on the surface you want to see your contours on. Now in this contour, you can easily see the temperature distribution on the outlet boundary of the twisted tape pipe. Now in this slide, you can see the velocity contours on the outlet boundary. And you can use these contours and compare them with the contours provided in the paper. In this slide, we have again brought to you the figure 2 of the paper and that we are going to extract the NUSL number calculated in our CFD simulation and compare it with the paper's result for Reynolds number equal to 800. And finally, in this slide, we have calculated for you the Reynolds number, and we have compared our Nusselt number obtained by our CFD simulation and the Nusselt number uh, reported by the paper for Reynolds number equal to 800 and P over D ratio of 5. Uh, after that, you can see that we have calculated the error uh, and our error is equal to 9.5%. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this slide, you can see that we have extracted the figure 1 of the paper, which shows the twisted tape pipe model used in the paper. In present validation project, the value of the ratio of the pitch of the twisted strip to the diameter of the tube is equal to 5. The fluid flowing inside this pipe is water, with the Reynolds equals to 800. And as a result, the flow velocity of the incoming wa water is equal to 0.0365 meter per second. Also, the inlet water flow temperature to the pipe is equal to 298.15 Kelvin and the pipe wall is under a constant heat flux equal to 5,725 watts per meter squared.
The strip inside the pipe is thermally insulated and is solely responsible for affecting the amount of heat transfer from wall of the pipe to the mass of fluid flow to the mass of fluid flowing inside the pipe. The purpose of this work is to investigate the amount of nozzle number on the pipe wall. As was mentioned in previous slides, the target of this project is to validate the nozzle number obtained by the paper and our CFD simulation. Now in this slide, we have brought to you the figure 2 of the paper, which shows the validation of numerically predicted nozzle number by the paper. The present model is designed in three-dimensional using design model software. The model consists of a tube with diameter of 0.022 meters and a length of 2.2 meters which in its interior has a twisted strip with a screw pitch equal to 0.11 meter. Therefore, the ratio of tape screw pitch to the pipe diameter is equal to 5. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The element number is equal to 476,442. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.